Test, test. Test, test. One, two, three. <coughs> Test, test, one, two, three, four. All right, boom. All right, so this is going to be brief, but um, the topic of this video live stream is called Stand Guard at the Door of Your Mind. Um, I didn't make that up. That was a slogan that I got from Jim Rohn. And if anyone on here does not know who Jim Rohn is, I suggest you look him up. He is a, or was, uh, God rest his soul, a personal professional development guru. And his, one of his gifts was to take the most complex things and break it down in a sense where anyone from a 89-year-old woman to a 13-year-old little boy was able to, to get and be very impactful. However, um, I named this topic Stand Guard at the Door of Your Mind because a couple of days ago on Instagram, I put out a quick video, actually it was a reel, on where are you accessing your information. And the reason why I put that out was to be transparent that I was going through some little riffles Riffles, ruffles, or whatever. Now I'm thinking about potato chips, but uh, little ruffles in my business. And it was based off of the information that I was consuming at that given moment, right? The information that I was consuming was more, it didn't help me get out of the situation. It was more analyzing the problem that I was having, in a sense, in my business. And it, it touched on the same things that I was going through, but instead of me, finding the information to get out of the situation. I was just consuming the information on how I got there and more importantly, how I was staying there, which wasn't a good thing. But as soon as I started to consume information that helped me get out of the situation, um, I was, my mindset started to change. Now, you know, of course, full transparency, I'm not out of the, the business challenge yet, but I'm getting to the point where um i'm digging myself out of the situation which is a good thing and if anyone's a, a business owner these are some of the the trials and tribulations that you go through that help shape your business but even more importantly what i'm going through right now what i'm going through right now is going to help someone else that i will coach teach train or in the future but um i clearly had a number of people reach out to me who really didn't understand what I was saying about the information that I was consuming and how it was not helping me, but harming me. So let me say this also, the type of information that you consume on a regular basis will set the tone on how your life is going to move forward or stay at a standstill. And even though I talk about career management and business, this can go with anything that's going on in your life. You know, if you are stagnant as a parent, the right information will help you move forward out of that situation or the wrong information will keep you there or even um, push you back even further, whether it's your marriage, whether it's your fitness, your health, uh, dealing with conflict, any type of situation that's going on, the type of information that you consume will either help you or harm you. And to even break it down even more, information to the mind is like food to the body, right? Information to the mind is like food to the body. So what you consume will, once again, it will, I don't use the word conform, but it will shape you on how you're going to move forward in things. And one of the things that I've seen for the past couple of years and a lot of my good friends I have these discussions with, it seems like with the tool of social media, um, well, back in the day, only the top tier individuals had access to get their 
message out, whether it's for access of resources or they've proven themselves to be that girl or that guy that knows what they're talking about and can put that information out so people can consume it and it can help them in a sense. However, when it comes to social media in this day and age, it's like the wild, wild west. You know, there's no social media police and anyone with a smartphone and a, an opinion can voice what they want to say. And everybody has the freedom of speech. However, I control what I consume just as much as you control what you consume. However, it's not like that nowadays because people are utilizing just social media as their sole resource to consume information. And 90% of what's on social media nowadays is trash. And um, if I heard somebody's feelings out there, it is what it is because that's my opinion when it comes to a lot of things, especially what's been pushed out to the younger generation. And these are the type of images that they think reflects what the real world is about. In actuality, it's not. You know, I see that a lot when it comes to social media ads where someone who who's never been in business but they have access to a Lamborghini and a Learjet. They put their image out there and say, hey, I can teach you how to get this stuff in 30 to 40 days if you pay for my training. It's gotten to the point where that landscape has become very difficult to even control that type of information because people are paying to gain access to you. So it's if I pay you a certain amount of money, you know, I can get my message out to you, even though that's been advertisement and things of that nature prior um it's it's been everybody's been given access to it so more people out there is pushing out the wrong pieces of information however and i sold this to myself and to a business client if you are absorbing this information on a consistent basis it's your fault and once again that's something that she didn't want to hear but it hit home because as much access and much ability she has to consume all this bad information, she can put her phone down, turn the TV off, or even start the process of trying to gain access to the right information, right? We're in, a, in an age where it's information overload. And with that, you can get any type of information that your fingers will allow you to get. It can be a gift. And in some situations, it's a curse also because some people feel that as long as they continue to consume this information, which they think that's helping them, they're going to be better off. But that's like trying to run in quicksand. The faster that you run in quicksand, the quicker that you actually sink, right? So I say all that to say, and that everyone is capable of doing this if they choose to, because a lot of people feel that they're in this rut and they're being held down, but they are the individuals that's holding themselves down based off of the access of information that they are consuming, right? It's just as much as bad information out there. There's also good information to help get you out of your situation, but it's not going to be a situation where you put a book on top of your head and yes, I'm going to do this. And then all of the information from the book starts to seem down and seek in your brain and it starts to marinate. It doesn't work like that. You have to open up the book or get the pieces of great information and start to consume it on a daily basis. However, you have people that make so many excuses on why they, one, they don't want to get this information, or two, they don't, quote unquote, have the time to consume it, to, 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 to master it, let it marinate. So they can start to change their their life or and this was me a couple of years ago. I thought that as soon as I read the information and that's it and not put forth any more action to consume more of this good pieces of information, my life was going to change overnight. And that's so not the case nowadays. Now, don't get me wrong. You have individuals out there that are putting out great pieces of information. Right. But then you also have little minions out there that are putting out the not so good pieces of information. And unfortunately, more people are following the, the minions and the individuals with 
not, without what that the, the individual is not putting out the great pieces of information as opposed to the ones that are but you as a human being have the control and you have the power to control what you look at what you consume and things of that nature that's why if you've been consuming bad pieces of information and your life is not the way you would want it to be it's your fault it's your responsibility as an adult in some cases as a as a teenager but i'm speaking more to the adults nowadays because you have more adults that will spend five to six hours arguing with someone on social media about a relationship that's not even theirs as opposed to figuring out what are some things that they can do to fix their own relationship or have the type of relationship that they want now i'm not a relationship guru i make mistakes in my marriage also as humans but too many people are focused on other people's business thus information that is not your business as opposed to um what they they need to do but as a standard every single day you have to monitor the information that you are consuming and even ask yourself even before you consume it will this help my life out in any way shape or form now there's nothing wrong with being informed i.e the news because you want to know what's going on in the news but do not spend you know five or six hours looking at the news because that's doom and gloom. That's one of the things that I saw and I saw people close around me when the pandemic happened. Now, being at home, you can only do a certain amount of things, right? You can watch TV, you can spend time with your family, watch movies or whatever, but I've seen people turn into doom and gloom because they spent all of their time watching CNN and news when the pandemic was going on. And that is something that I saw people, and people are still trying to get themselves out of that situation or worse off that they're content with just accepting the bad information that's going on in the world. Bad things are happening. They're happening as we speak, but that doesn't necessarily have to be your world, right? So the first thing is the pieces of information, do an assessment of information that you are consuming right now. Look at everything that you look at or consume on a uh, daily basis and figure out, is this stuff really helping? And be honest with it. Be honest with yourself. You can lie to other individuals, but if it's not helping you, then start to make the transition to consume that information less and less, right? That's the biggest thing, because before you stop in anything, you have to slow down. I don't expect anybody to just stop at a dime and start to, you know, turn their life around and stop consuming bad information, cold turkey. But you got to slow down before you stop. But then while you are slowing down, you may want to ask yourself, what are some things that you want to consume that would add more value to your life? Once again, everybody is different. You know, if you want a better relationship with your family, if you want a better relationship with God, if you want to get healthier, you gotta find every, you have to find other pieces of information that you can start to consume that will help you with that overall mission, right? Number two, start a routine of processing and consuming the good information. Everything that's on your cell phone isn't good. And I hear a lot of people say, well, I get all my information from, from Twitter or from Facebook. That's not the best thing. However, you have to look at it like if you're spending all your time looking at other people's goals, dreams, and things of that nature, do you have any aspirations for yourself? Or you're just going to spend all your time focusing on other people. This is where, quote unquote, people who are haters and trolls and things of that nature because they spend more time in other people's business as opposed to focusing on their own. That's why you really got to feel sorry for a troll or, or a hater, even though you know, a lot of people that clap back and sometimes you can't just let people get the, the best of you. It is what it is because I'm a human also. But these individuals that have these negative comments, they have nothing else going on in their lives. They're yearning for your post so they can start to trash it. Those are the people that need this information more than, than anybody else, right? 
But once you get to the point where you start to slow down the consumption of the bad information, and then you start to speed up in consuming the good uh, information, give yourself some time to reflect on the good information. Just don't read anything and not think about what you have read. Just don't think about what you have just read and not figure out a way how to apply that in, in your life. Because anything that you ingest that is good, it's going to cause a good output if you put forth that effort and that, that energy, right? Because I see too many people think it's norm to just have these negative attitudes have these quote unquote woe is me moments and they blame everybody except themselves without getting better, right? I've even done that in my life until somebody had to really break me down to, so I can build myself back up to say, it, it's my fault that I'm at this certain point in my life. I can, cons I can, and I had access to this information. That's the crazy thing about it. I had access to better myself, but I chose not to because I like the fact that people felt sorry for me. I like the fact that I got that type of attention, even though I was lost in my mind, as opposed to saying, I will, the attention that I need is the attention of myself and not trying to yearn for the attention of other individuals. But I didn't have the right information at that time to come to that overall decision. And that's still a work in progress, to be honest with you. I still have to read. I still have to process things. And um, I'm human like you guys. So I go through stuff. But as soon as I go through this stuff, I have to seek the information that I need to better myself because nobody's going to do it except me, especially if I'm being led to the right information. And that's the thing. Everybody has access to starting the process of getting the right information, right? If you want to figure out how to make more money, start doing your research on some things that you can do and some behaviors that you can start to change to make more money, right? I'm not saying that you'll get the, the, the golden ticket of information so you can become uh, rich or successful instantly. That's not the case. Things are more crock pot as opposed to microwave. You know what I'm saying? Everybody wants that instant gratification and that's not going to happen. But as long as you put in the work, thus access the right information, regardless of what you want to do in life, and you use that information, you will start to see progress. You know, the progress that you will make as you consume and you start to use this information is greater than the end goal. Because as you consume this information it starts to change you on the inside it starts to change your mindset because that's another thing you have so many people out there that talk about change your mindset change your mindset change your mindset the best way to change your mindset is to consume great information and then utilize that great information and you'll see how your overall life will, will change so um i hope that was a little bit more clear on the instagram post that i put as you continue to consume bad information, nothing good is going to come out of that. But as you start a new path and seek good information and utilize that good information, you will start to see a turn in your life, regardless where you will want to go. Right. That's why you have top tier individuals. They read all the time. And, and consuming information doesn't, the good information doesn't necessarily mean read all the time. I know a lot of people don't know this, even though I read uh, books, I can only read books. I can only read books to a certain period of time because then it gets to the point where I get sleepy. It's weird. I don't know what it is, but that's not an excuse because then if I know this about myself, then I would start to buy audio books. That's still the same information, but I'm consuming it in a different way. And I'm utilizing that to better my life, both personally and professionally, right? So as we conclude on this, once again, stand guard at the door of your mind. That's not a quote for me. That's a quote from the great Jim Rohn. But that is profound because the information that you consume whether it's good or bad, it's going to give you that output in your life. 
So if you had any questions, comments, concerns based off of that, since I'm streaming on YouTube and Instagram, if you are looking at this on YouTube, please comment below because I would want people's view on this. Um, it can be negative. It can be positive. It's just I know everybody's not going to consume this information the right way, especially based off of the fact of where they are in their lives. They still may have that overall victim mentality and feel that the access to the information is not available for them, even though it's literally at their fingertips. Or if you are on Instagram, feel free to uh, leave me a DM and then we can go from there. Let's